The other thing that um, that I wanted to talk about um, is I, I sent you those chord charts last week, and I'm sure they make no sense right at this point. But I really I didn't, and and there are a lot of chords on them. But there's no I'm not asking you to learn all those chords because I'm not going to learn them all. That's for sure. But I sent them to you so that if we talk about a chord and a few days later you go to play some a song and you say, oh shoot, I don't know how to play that chord, you can go to the chord chart and say, oh, okay, that's how that works. So anyway, I did a little drawing. Um, this is the Gramps version of the chord chart. And there's two chords shown here. And this, this is very similar to the chart I sent you. And the thing that's weird about chord charts is the it actually uh, is showing the, the neck of the ukulele as if it's standing straight up, and um, which means that um, uh, this end of the box is close to the tuning things, and this end of the box is on its way to the body of the instrument. Um, and then the lines that go across, these lines, those are the frets, the metal frets that we talked about last week, and then the up and down lines are actually the strings. So, and actually an easier way to look at this, I think, is to turn it on its side like this, because now you're looking at the ukulele neck as it looks, looking down on it when you're playing it. And the big deal is where the dots are, okay? So the dots indicate where you want to put a finger. So in this case, this is the C7 chord, and the dot says you need to put a finger on the first fret, first string. And by the way, the, the way I identify the strings is I start with the string lowest from you when you're looking down on the instrument and call that number one, and then so two, three, four going going up towards you. So, um, so that's how... So Again, this chart, this chord, shows that you need a, a finger on the first string, first fret. This is the F chord here, and this is calls for a finger on the second string, first fret, and the fourth string, second fret. So that's how that works, and uh, we can talk about it more tomorrow. But... That's uh, that's going to be important for you as you progress, and you're, and you know someday you'll be looking at doing doing songs you find yourself, and you'll be trying to figure out the chords, and the chord charts will come into play, um, and so this will be helpful for you to know, and so there you go. I'm uh, I'm looking forward to tomorrow, and I hope you're sleeping well right now because it's uh, 10 o'clock my time and uh, have a good day at school and we'll talk to you tomorrow night i love you and have fun take care ava